And thank you, Jim, for having me here today. Guys, I just want to let you know, this is like a homecoming for me. My dad was a fisherman. Both of my grandfathers were fishermen. My uncles fished. And to me, this is much more than a political issue. This is about my family, this is about my heritage, and this is about an upbringing. And to those young boys that were down here that said, why can't I be a fisherman? By God, if you want to be like my daddy, then you should have every right to be like him. Yeah. You know, we all share, Bruce said that this is hallowed ground because it represents our country. Well, it's hallowed ground because our family's here today. I might be from Gloucester, but my daddy fished out in Alaska, he fished out in California, he fished out in New Jersey, and that represents the brotherhood and the sisterhood that's represented here today. Yes. Yes. Senator Carr talked about hallowed, let's talk about something else that's hallowed. It's the sacrifice that each and every one of you make when you leave our port. And why do you make that sacrifice? You make it to feed your family. And above and beyond that, and I hope the Capitol can hear me from here, yeah. you do it because you want to feed this nation. And to the environmentalists that have some sort of issue with feeding this nation, they need to hear that message. They need to understand the sacrifice, because I bet there's not one of them that leaves their house, that kisses their wife, their husband, or their child goodbye, and goes on to take on a noble effort of feeding this nation, not knowing whether or not they're going to return. And it's about time that that sacrifice gets respected. Now, we've, if we've watched the news, we've seen all the debating going on out there about who's going to create the next job. Is it going to be the Republicans? Is it going to be the Democrats? Is it going to be the federal government, the state? Who's it going to be? You know what? You all have jobs. So here's a message that we have to send over to that building. You have a job. You do it well. It's an important job, and they need to help you keep your job. Yeah. And they need to understand one thing more. And that's if, if these jobs go away, they're not coming back. And if they want to go to their restaurants, and they want to have striped bass, and they want to have a codfish or a haddock or a lobster, then guess what? They need to give this industry the respect and the dignity that it deserves. Let's the burner! And let's talk about dignity and respect for a minute. Congressman Jones was up here, and I was so proud of him because our friends from the southeast joined us in the northeast and said there's a problem with fisheries enforcement and that problem needs to be fixed. So Bruce was up here, he asked if we were going to work on legislation to change Magnuson. I have a question for all of you too. And that question is, Congressman Jones said, we're going to work together, we're going to hold enforcement accountable, we're going to make them respect the fishing industry and the work we do, and we're going to band together, and we're going to bust their butts. Are you ready to bust their butts? Yeah. All right, then let's get to it. 